Roll the tape. It's time for Kids Concerns on Tampa Bay's AM 1380 Radio Disney. The show that answers the questions that kids and parents want answered. Good morning and happy Saturday, everybody. Welcome to AM 1380 Radio Disney Kids Concern Show. I'm your host, yours truly, Christopher Beasley, and I am here today with a brand new theme. So rise and shine, because it's showtime. This morning's pretty interesting. I just actually wrapped up applying for college. I'm pretty happy about that. And we're almost nearing the end of the first semester. Time flies when you're having fun in school, right? And I know a guy who loves to have fun at school. He actually makes music for school, so much so that he is the only rapper allowed by Pinellas County Schools to use a positive message of staying in school, amongst other things, to promote two children. And they have liked him throughout the years that he's been doing this. He's been recognized by various media groups, including the news. And also, he has been awarded with various community awards. Without further ado, I'll go ahead and stop bragging about this guy so we can introduce him. His name is Corey Thornton from The Knuckleheads. We have him right here in the studio. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing? You doing good? I'm doing great. This is another opportunity I get to go ahead and talk with you and hey, I can't complain about that. Everything going good. It's good to be here. I'm happy to be here with y'all and I'm ready to start this movement with changing education and the way kids think about education and it's, it's all about getting this thing going because school, you got to put school first in order to be successful. Absolutely. That is definitely the way to go. Whatever you want to do in life, make sure you have an education to back it up. I definitely agree there. So actually, let's get things going with, with you, actually. All right. What's, what, 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 what y'all need to know? What y'all want to know? I want to know, because this is pretty interesting, because, you know, we, we've talked before. You grew up and you actually didn't want to become a rapper at first. You wanted to cut hair, right? Yeah, I wanted to be a barber because my family, they own um, barber shops. And, you know, once you grow up and keep watching it, you know, that's what you want to become. And um, actually, I do know how to cut hair real good, but somehow I just end up being a... Uh, 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 a rapper. So how did you uh, plan on, you know, aspiring to be a barber and then uh, a rapper, I guess? I know growing up in, in your house, whatever you surround yourself with in your bedroom, that's what you become. Like I had posters from the ceiling all the way to the floor. And um, there were just different music artists. And I was just like, wow, waking up every morning like, I wish I could be someone like that. And before you know it, as the years go by, that's what eventually, that's what I became. Yeah, that's pretty interesting because actually um, haircutting and hairstyling, associates a lot with you know the industry because a lot of people you know they get you know very sensitive about their hair they only want a certain person to you're cut right. it you're right so they'll actually have people they either fly people out i've heard of this before it's crazy they'll yeah. fly people out or they'll just travel with them yeah they will you, you can ha actually have barbers that um travel with you when you go to your events or you like you say they'll fly all the way down just to get a haircut yeah that is for one expensive haircut <laughs> 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 all right so from you know, cutting hair to rapping. How did you change your decision and like what drove you to actually change it? I, it's just like I always liked it to entertain, you know. Um, I just love getting on stage doing performances for people. And it actually started when I was in middle school and by a great teacher of Mr. Payne. He actually taught me um, jazz and, and, and different kind of musicals and stuff. I actually started out tap dancing. Really? On stage, Broadway. See, you haven't even told me this yet. No, I ain't tell you that. That's a secret. That's <laughs> yeah. a secret right there. All right, we'll keep it between us. All right. <laughs> but that's all right, though. I, I Actually, I want to get back into tapping, too. It's, all, it, it, it's fun. The main thing is you got to find something constructive that you like to do. The less free time you have, you know what I mean? When you, when you have a lot of free time, you, you find yourself getting in trouble. Always stay busy. I don't care what it is. Sports, writing music, writing poems, doing something. Something to keep you motivated. And what a lot of people don't know about uh, staying you know, productive is that a lot of people actually take interest into what you do. So if you find what you like doing and yes. take your time doing it, other people will be like, hey, that's pretty cool what you do. And you'll be able to explain it more to them. And maybe you might find something common with them. Yeah, you're right. You're right about that. Yeah. So why did you pick hip hop from, you know, doing tap and doing jazz, which hip hop has roots in jazz. Yes. But why did you pick hip hop to convey your message? Um, I mainly just I liked it to dance all the time. And back then, you know, um, the group 95 South, how they, how, how they made the song Hoop, there it is. You know, everybody listen to that. And I got a chance to meet those guys and hang out with them. And when I seen what they you know, how they perform and get everybody hype, that's what I wanted to do. 
So all it takes is to hang with somebody that does something unique and awesome, and then you want to, you know, you want to do the same thing. Definitely. For those of you just tuning in, this is AM 1380 Radio Disney Kids Concern Show. I'm here with Corey Thornton of the Knuckleheads. Yeah. We're talking about more about his career. We're getting things hyped. We're also talking about what he is proactive in the community about, which is education, staying in school, motivational yes, yes. speaking. Kids <laughs>